if these bad boys are sturdy, okay? What is up everybody? This is from IAK back with another video. If you are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We are on the journey to a thousand subscribers so I can get monetized, all right? And we can grow with each other. So please hit that subscribe button so you can grow with me. If you are a returning subscriber, gang gang, you already know the vibe. I appreciate you. Today we're gonna kick this off with a new series. I think I want to call it Wash Wednesdays. I typically just wash my hair, style it, and everything for the week. So I think I want to drop these videos on Wednesday. This is my first series on this channel, so I'm pretty excited to do this, give y'all content. And so I can be more consistent with this channel because you know your girl, two weeks. Yeah, every two weeks dropping a video is just not gonna cut it. But I'm not gonna keep talking y'all to this. If you wanna see how I did my hair, keep watching and let's get into the video. Okay, so I washed my hair, I deep conditioned it, I, the whole nine yards basically. I let the deep conditioner sit while I clean it set most of the whole day but y'all know how that goes i'll make sure i'll uh, list everything down below just in case if y'all want to know what i use my hair is notorious for getting dry so i have to make sure that my hair is very 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 moisturized so this is it this is all me my hair has came a long way all right from a short pixie cut to this baby afro but i love everything about my hair i am what am i about to do so i'm about to braid down my hair so we can put these clippings in you know so i can have a little a little length i'm gonna do a middle part and i'm going to part off as little as possible of leave out i can my hair is super thick that might be too much to be honest put this down and I'm gonna take some from the back and then take some from this side. And this is gonna be my leave out, this, this part right here. This might be a little much, but mm, it should be good enough. So I'm gonna twist this part and make it into a little ball, just so this won't be in the way, you know? We're gonna put a clip right there. And then for the rest, I'm gonna just part it in four. I feel like y'all know how to part in four. So I'm gonna part it in four and then I'll be back, okay? I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and part my hair and I moisturized it, put my leave-in conditioner on it, everything. I did it off of camera. I did it off camera because I don't I don't want this video to be too long. In the front, this is gonna be my leave out. Looks kind of crazy, but trust the process, trust the process. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to plait my hair. I don't really know how to, well I do, but it's kind of hard on short hair. Like braided to the scalp for me. It's hard for me to braid it to the scalp with short hair. Yeah. So I'm just gonna plait my hair, all right? So this is basically, a. this is low key like a sew-in but with clip-in. So I'm just going to like part this right here. And I'm just gonna plait my hair up. Within the four parts that I have, it's gonna be braids in those parts. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And I am not a braider, okay? I just wanna show y'all, like, it doesn't have to be braided to the scalp for you to put clippings in your hair. Basically, I don't really like when my hair is in between the part. Try to get your hair where you blend your hair in with the clippings, you put the clippings in. No, for me, I basically plait my hair so the clippings will sit on top. It's more easier for me and easier for me to maintain. And I just twist that like that and just took it behind my hair ear because like everything is gonna sit on top. My hair match these clippings pretty good, but like I'm just not trying to do all that work. Like, you know, I would rather moisturize it, flat my hair up and put these clippings in and go. Sorry if this lighting keeps changing. My autofocus is trying to figure out what it needs to focus on. But if your hair is good with blending it, blending in with the clippings, and you like having some hair out and stuff like that, 
that's for you for me i like to plait my hair up under and call it a day put that behind my ear that's two so i'm gonna do the rest of my hair and i'll be back well i'll i'll, I'll let y'all see me like how i plait down my hair especially like in the back like this is all in one section but i had to part it because this hair sits way down here versus up here. So like, I'm probably gonna make this into two big plaits and make this into two big plaits, just so it can lay down flatter, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so all plaited up as you see. Got a little, got a little hang time, just a little bit. Definitely came a long way. I think I'm going to maybe like pin some back or like braid some within each other. Just so it could lay a little flatter to the head. Yeah. And then I'll probably pin, pin it back. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I pinned them back. Got to move this bobby pin. Pinned them back with some bobby pins. Again, nobody's gonna see none of this. Everything is gonna look fine. It just is, if you ever had a sewing before, this is just like a sewing. Like, it's just like a sewing, to be honest. But here is the start of the show these clip ins and i washed them well i co-washed them with some conditioner or whatever and they're still kind of wet but don't they look good i mean granted it's only been a, a week but so far i like these clip ins a lot um, only had to buy one pack and it fits the whole head. I don't need any extra ones. I don't need that one more track and they're thick. Like, so yeah, we are about to clip these babies in. This is the first clip in that I'm gonna put in my head. It's the two clip. I don't put it like at the back of my neck. So this is what it looks like. Closed, this is closed and that's open. And if you heard that snap, that's how sturdy it is. Like when I first put them on my head, I had to break them in a little bit. This is a 3C4A pattern, I wanna say. I'm about to just put it in the back of my head and I'm just gonna like run the comb through my hair and snap it. Comb through my hair and snap. And like, they're not going anywhere. Okay, this is another two, but it's a little longer. And you don't have to layer on top of layer like this. Like, you put one right here and like leave a little space because it's curly hair and it's wet. So when they dry up, they're gonna get more dense. So like, you don't have to layer it one on top of the other. Like, you could leave some space in between. It's gonna be okay. They have two, um, some with three prongs like this, or three clips, whatever you wanna call it. Some with four, I wanna say. Yeah, and then two with five. So I'm gonna use the three. I'm gonna give it some space. So let's see. So I'm gonna get the four prong. But this is a really, really easy, and if y'all see me looking down, I'm looking at my mirror. But like, this is a really, really easy hairstyle. Like, super easy. Just kind of measuring it before I clip it in my head. Like, these bad boys are sturdy, okay? I think I'm gonna do the sides next. 
I'm just gonna put them. I have this clip right here, like not so close, but so they can kind of be a little lined up. Okay, and then let me do the other side. There we go. I think I'm gonna put the five in the middle, like kind of like where the crown is. Oh, this one, just kind of measuring it out. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. So I say kind of measure it before you clip it in so you don't have to clip it in and then you don't like it and then try to take it out and everything like I just kind of like to measure it first. So I'm gonna do I think this four right here. The four prong one. Go. And then use the three this right here this is the three the three prong like whatever you do on one side especially in the middle part doing the other so it looks even if that makes sense and then the final one this is the five prong now put this on top do it like that yeah Hey, this worked out perfectly. The first time I put these in last week, kind of didn't like how I did the placement. I don't know what I was doing. I was rushing, but I definitely did this. I'm glad I took my time. So yeah, see what I mean when I say like, this is like a legit, like it's a clip-in sewing <laughs> type thing. It's like a, you just clipped it in and it looks like a whole sewing. And then you have your leave out on top. Do I want to do my, I leave out on camera or off. So basically with this part, all I'm gonna do is like wet it and put some gel on my hand and do like a finger curl. Cool, yeah, like a finger curl so I can blend in with this hair. I think I'm gonna do that off camera. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that off camera just so this video won't be mad at long. But let me do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay. So this is the final look. It looks so good. This is my J Lux label top. It's like a, a wrap. I put a bra up under it so I could like accentuate my boobs a little bit more. But ah, this hair looks so good. Um, I kind of just like finger coiled my hair at the top with some eco style gel. And then like I did my little baby hairs. And I got like, makeup but I, not makeup for real like it's it's like a slight like a minimum beat i have lashes eyebrows a little bit of lip gloss and i did like a little bit of blush but this looks good i can't stop not like i can't stop not touching it if that makes sense it was so easy to blend that's why i say like it is important to make sure that you get like your hair texture, especially if you're gonna like blend it out. I mean, it's easy to manipulate, but like better results if your hair texture is about the same. Super, super easy. I think the the longest thing that took me to do it was the braid down. This is a 16 inch. Again, one pack, okay? Just one, one pack. So let's, let's read out what I got real quick so y'all can know what I got. I'll, I'll link this down below as well. You know I'm good for a good link, but just wanted to let you know I'll link it down as well. This is a one pack kinky curly clip-in set. It cost me $210.89 and they do take PayPal. And if y'all don't know, PayPal do the four installment. Okay. So make sure if you don't have it, like you can still do the PayPal installments and be good. Hair color natural. The length is 16 inches, 195 grams. Oh, I got a detangling brush as well. I ain't really like the brush, but you know, I wanted to try it. I did the express shipping. Dang, that was $20. All right. $20 for express shipping. Oh, so my total was $225.89. And it came in with this bag. Thumbnail. It came with this bag. This is for storage. So when you take these out, don't just throw them up under your sink, girl. Okay, don't do it. Put it in this bag so they'll last a lot longer. One week in and I wanna say I love these. It's only one week, but it's doing your girl good right now. So y'all can see the back, hold on. Can y'all see it? Hopefully no tracks are showing while I'm showing y'all. But y'all see it? Like, doesn't it look 
full and it looks like mine so yeah like come on man i will definitely give y'all some more updates but thank you for watching this video thank you for watching me thank you for supporting me you don't have to but you do so i love y'all for that i think this is the end of the video so like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye